And down the road, they've got three more abandoned homes over here in the village. And I think there's one more at the end according to the map, but we'll have to see. So where'd she go? Oh, she passed me. Wow, you're too fast for me. Let's check it out. There's one with an oil tank around the back there. Let's see. Not much better light from this angle. Oh yeah, there's electric and stuff. It could be. Yeah, that's hooked to the grid still. These aren't. So you're probably right. This one actually looks like a really nice house. This is obviously either park service or uh, private residence. Right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, we're approaching the big house. There's a strange thing on top. Maybe it's a weather station of some type. I can't really tell, but there is a sign here. So let's see what the sign says. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is... 1882, but it definitely looks like it's been maintained. Masker's Barn. It was a carriage house for the resort of Glenside Park and was used from 1882 to 1916. Union County Park Commission purchased the buildings and surroundings in 1927, blah, blah, blah. And reserved the rest of its boring. Okay. All right, well, that explains it. Oh, and there's the infamous no bike sign up there. All right, we're on our way back. I'm gonna take a little closer inspection. See if we can actually see inside here. Well, I don't think so. You know, it looks like some of the pipe in there, a lot of reflections. They got it fixed, so I can't see in there. But you know what? My camera can. I can raise it above my head. Look in there. Wow, that's cool. Imagine if I drop my camera down there, I'm going to be finding a way in there. Wow. Hey, you can see in through here with my camera. Wow. Like, I couldn't reach, but I got it all on film. Okay.